Alright Scotty, we're rolling down uh, Rolling down 54 and there ain't a freaking thing out here, not even a freaking cow. God's country. Let's get out here in UFO land. Ready? We are one hour north of Roswell, New Mexico. You know anything about Roswell, New Mexico? Huh? I do not know anything about Roswell, but I will tell you this. I know that you believe in aliens. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, you're kind of a conspiracy guy, I know. Yeah, conspiracy guy. Yeah. You, uh, would you consider yourself a truther? There are a lot of truths out there that need to be known. Are you a truther? Would you consider yourself one of those? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah? Huh. Don't go trying to debunk me, but yeah, there's a lot of bullshit going on. I'm not going to try to debunk okay. you, but you know, I've oh, got here facts. We go. I've got yeah. facts. <laughs> Right on. Anybody thinks the government brought down the Twin Towers? Cuckoo. Apparently back in 1942 uh, there was a, or maybe 47, there was an alien spaceship that crashed about an hour south of here. I think on, most people are familiar with that history. Thank on uh, Mac Brazel's ranch, I believe just due north of Roswell, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. They uh, rode out on their horses on the north, on the, I believe on the north side of Roswell, and, and it took them a while to get out there, and they discovered. But they said it was a weather balloon. Oh uh, no, 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 yeah. They came out originally and said that they had a crash spacecraft, and then they came out and said it was a weather balloon. Uh, no, no, you don't get know, your facts right. Right, you don't know anything about this but, story. Originally, after it crashed, and they found the ship and the three aliens, two of them were dead, one of them was still alive. They scooped him up and took him into a room, I believe, to some military base. I think Fort Bliss. As he looks at the map, that's good. Yeah. Fort Bliss. Anyway. They dissected one, didn't they? Well, I don't know. I, I don't know about the let's, dissection. Let's get part. past history. Let's talk about your history. Oh about seeing a UFO and how scary that was for you. Was it scary? I never, I didn't get scary. No, I got excited. You did? I think if I'd have gotten close enough. You would have got on board? <laughs> would, you have, would you have sacrificed your? If they guaranteed me that they would bring me back, yeah. I'd go, I'd go in a hot but, minute. You know. No, ain't no butt dead liner, none of that. I was going to say, you know for a fact, <laughs> history shows from the people that have been abducted by aliens that there has been some probing going on. No butt probe going on here, mister. I'm just along for the listen, Mr. tour Tour guy. <laughs> listen, listen, little green fellow, I don't mind getting on your, right. plane, your ship and riding around with it, but you ain't getting the probe out on me, so we just get that straight right now. Uh, well, whatever, yeah, but anyway, yeah, we're yep. out in God's country in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> get off that subject, you said it right now, mister. Two and a half hours from Las Cruces, New Mexico, which is on the border. Mexico is right there at the oh, Mexico. Ciudad Juarez. Mexico is just on the other side of the imaginary line from Las Cruces to El Paso. Yeah. Hmm. Well, there are black helicopters and dark jeeps. Look Rome. For, look for truck carloads of people coming into these places. Yeah. It's something. It's a crazy world we live in. Yeah. Does that make us crazy if it's a crazy world we live in? I'm just a squirrel trying to get a nut, brother. Oh. On that nut. Uh, you know, <laughs> on that nut statement, I think. Get on that nut. I think we'll just bail out on the nut right there. Do something. Yeah. Adios. Check in with us later here on Racing Boys YouTube. We're almost there.